What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Tonight, we're going to have a competition between the chicken burger and the beef burger on the Blackstone. Let's do it. Alrighty, so as usual, we're going to prep up the Blackstone with some oil and spread it around nicely for our onions and then mushrooms. So we drop down the onions. I've got two yellow onions chopped up, uh, sliced up nicely. Um, not too thin slices, pretty thick actually. These are going to reduce down. That's the goal here is to, once we get the mushrooms on as well, we're going to reduce these down. Uh, so we're going to add some seasoning, some salt, uh, some kosher salt, as well as some ground black pepper. And just mix these up. Kind of break them up a little bit so they're not in big chunks. They'll break up eventually, but eh, it's, it's fun. <laughs> you might as well have fun, right? So break them up a little bit, mix them up, and keep them up in a nice little group. And have fun with the spatulas. You can see they're already starting to get a little bit of color. So we give the onions a little bit of a head start. They take about eh, seven, eight minutes to cook. I throw a little butter in here for some seasoning. Um, but we give them a head start. The mushrooms really only take a couple minutes to cook, maybe two or three. So we let these cook here, saute for about four minutes, maybe five, and then we'll add our mushrooms. But at this point, we'll just stir these up, get them nice and coated with the butter. And we will add a little bit of steam here and cover them with the pan. So after a few more minutes, we check them and they're looking pretty good here. So we mix them up. You can see the color coming through and at this point we're going to drop down our fresh sliced mushrooms and they are beautiful I absolutely love fresh mushrooms and with the sauteed onions, they just come together so nicely. So we're gonna steam these up a little bit as well and cover them and let them cook a little bit as well to get the mushrooms caught up to the onions. It's been a few minutes and you can see that these mushrooms are reducing down. You can see that moisture, the liquid coming through. That's from the water or the uh, moisture in the mushrooms coming out and the onions are starting to reduce as well and the color is just looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just want to get these mushrooms a little bit smaller because remember we're putting these on top of a burger so we don't want gigantic mushrooms. So what I do is I spread them out a little bit. They're already cooked so let's just get them a little bit crispy it'll reduce them as well. And look at the close-up of these mushrooms and onions. They look crazy. I mean, look at the, the bubbling and the heat and the steam coming up. And, oh, I can't wait to put these on the burgers. It's 
It's been another minute or two. We're going to flip these around, stir them up, and just get them looking absolutely incredible. The color's there. The texture's there. And they are just about done. Mushrooms and onions are done. So we'll get them off. We'll put them into a nice uh, shallow bowl here. They look absolutely incredible and they smell even better. So we'll take these off while we cook our burgers. We'll wrap them in some foil and they'll stay nice and hot. We have three beef patties and three chicken patties. I used Montreal steak seasoning for the burgers and Montreal chicken seasoning for the chicken. And I did put the seasoning on yesterday, so they've been sitting in the fridge for 24 hours waiting for the big competition. And here we go. We're going to put the beef on first because they take a little bit longer to cook, so we're going to give them a little bit of a head start here. And then after about four minutes, we'll put on the chicken. About four minutes is up. We're gonna go ahead and flip these beef burgers and look at the crust already on these. Temperature is right at about 425 degrees. Uh, we move them over a little bit, make room for our chicken burgers, which are not gonna take as long to cook. That's why we gave, them, uh, gave the beef a little bit of a head start there, uh, but they both look great and I can't wait to try them. So we're gonna let these cook for another three or four minutes and then we'll check them out and see how they're doing. Uh, but the chicken is probably only gonna take about five, six minutes total to cook. So it's been about another three, four minutes. And you can see the bottom of the chicken starting to get a little bit white. So that means it's time to probably flip them or at least check them. And we'll go ahead and flip them. They look, uh, they look pretty good there. Nice little crust. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it smells good as well. And you can see the beef burgers are not quite ready yet. I turned down the temp a little bit just to let the chicken catch up. Uh, but man, these are looking good. Both of them. So we're at about nine minutes total for the beef burgers. Time to add the cheese. We are using uh, some beautiful Gouda because Gouda is Gouda. And it melts really nicely and it tastes great. Um, and I thought it would be a nice compliment for either the beef or the chicken patties. So you can see I flipped the chicken patty not quite ready to flip over yet so we'll leave that alone and we'll just appreciate the cheese starting to melt but we are going to give it a little bit of help here because we do not want the burgers to overcook All right, so we'll move the burgers a little bit closer together and we're gonna add a little bit of water, not too much. Uh, and some, wait, hold on. A little bit of water right there and cover the lid and give it some steam. And literally 30 seconds later, look at the cheese on that. It is melting beautifully. These are ready to come off the grill. Look at that cheese just dripping. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this burger. We'll get our paint scraper and uh, put it to use. Clean up the surface a little bit so we can get the buns ready. One more flip on these chicken burgers and they are looking done. Look at the color on that. The chicken is done. And just like the beef, you can tell just by pressing down in the middle. If it's really soft, it's not done. If it has a nice little bit of a pushback with firmness, 
That means it's it's uh, most likely done. So time to put the cheese on. And that is also Gouda. And just like the beef, we're gonna steam them up and get them going. And look at the cheese chicken burgers. Oh my goodness. They look awesome. We're gonna put them right next to these beef burgers and they are ready for the competition. One last step is to get our buns toasted. I pre-buttered these Martins uh, sandwich rolls. They are potato bread rolls and they are absolutely delicious. They're so soft and I use them all the time. If you can get them, I highly recommend them. And literally within 45 seconds to a minute, they are done. And that's what you want. Woo! Look at these burgers. We have a chicken burger and a beef burger. Can you tell which one is which? I don't think so. But I can't either. Actually, I can't. But we're going to try them both out right now. Just to recap, we have one chicken, one beef, cooked exactly the same way. One was with Montreal seasoning for chicken. One was with Montreal seasoning for steak. Uh, I built them with some mayonnaise on the bottom, a little bit of mustard, the patties with the cheese, mushrooms and onions on top. A little bit more mayo on top to hold these pickles in place. Dill pickle chips. And man, I cannot wait to dig in. So we'll finish the build right here. They look absolutely delicioso. And we will try them out. Here we go. Because Mrs. Big Cat is looking hungry and she wants to try them as well. <laughs> All right, we'll try this one first. I don't know which one this is. It's huge. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hot. Oh my goodness. That is the chicken. And wow, that tastes really good. I've had chicken sandwiches. I've had chicken tenders. I've had all different types of chicken and that is really good um let's try the beef here we go jeez this thing is huge mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. I've had a lot of burgers in my time as well. <laughs> that one is outstanding. So, which one is the best? Man, this is close. But I have to give it to the burger. Just because it's a burger. It tastes delicious. I use the 80-20 beef, excellent meat quality. This one I use the 14% versus 86 lean, and that was good as well. And this tastes really good. So if you're trying to lose a little bit of weight or need healthier, this tastes excellent. I mean, really good. I would definitely recommend it. But if you just want to pig out one day and just eat like a nice big fat burger, this one is awesome. So thank you everybody again. Please continue to watch. Uh, please continue to subscribe, like, comment, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.